versus Immortals, who I think are looking to shove out waves and gain control of the map, but not a great team fight setup. No, we talk about the high pressure stuff from Immortals. They've got the ability to snowball maybe every section of the map. Dynamic mm. duo, because it's so easy to convert kills with. Could Santorin go for a level this two game? This is so cheeky. Who's going to be forced to flash? Quas flash Q. He's going to get a bit of knockback. Uh, Damage is down, and first blood goes to Quas. Very devastating game combo, and just having a little bit of extra health can help. That. And Torrens in again, Wild Turtle under threat, good grasping roots there, he's gonna get the stun down, and Kiwi Kid able to take that kill, Santorin again with the gank. Boom, outpacing Rainover's Nidalee, Graves versus Nid, gets the first gank up, hasn't even fallen that far behind in CS, and the big thing about his ganks, he hasn't been countered, but here's a mid laner gank, and maybe the counter gank, Rainover wants it. They're gonna try and tank the turret up, but actually Tuni goes Whoa. down and gets executed. Now Rainover gonna die, I think. Pobelter does get the kill, but GBM's gonna teleport in. Claw towards Pobelter, lock him down, but Pobelter there with the gold card. And Zonia's like, those two or three items spikes are gonna be where they're trying to push, but they might not yeah, get Huni on top of a ward, and that's an easy kill. Santorin just blows him away with his ulti. What's Huni making sure they don't have time to make the trade? What, what could be considered a very risky teleport isn't as risky just because of the way they've been able to kill. Well, that's unfortunate. Over and over. Whoops a daisy. I'm seeing what he can get done. And I really want to see energy go for Drake's faster. This is a 15 minute Drake. I think they could have done it a few minutes ago. Gank is going top lane. And we're actually going to see a fight. This teleport from GBM is going to yep. try and turn it. TP dance it. Hooney going to get crushed down by the burst damage. But here's Rain over to try and equalize. GBM getting low. Will go down to the Nidalee. And now Quas outnumbered. 1v3. Going to get himself stunned. He'll try and get a trade kill. Not just yet. Hooney flushes out of it. And they'll clean the other one up as well. Quas flash Q for the kill. And Rain over finally collects him. Yeah, and that's not over yet because they might try and push down this mid lane turret. They get turtle. They do get turtle. The damage is there. Knock up from the Zyra plans. But Oku can't quite get the Q. He'll take the turret instead. Centaur also got the dragon in that exchange so NRG across the map in every lane they get something done coming into the split I still thought they were the best regular season team in the LCS and energy I was very skeptical about their ability to integrate four new players in if I didn't know that I'd say energy is well ahead in this game oh Santorin again gets out with the ultimate and the TP is in from GBM I believe now maybe can turn this around good snare there oh on the Adrian Wild Turtle Adrian gonna get blown up I think but he's living for a little too long Oki though he's gonna take that one out but GBM dies on the other side to rain over a 4v4 now as Hooney's looking to try and take somebody out. Rainover dives in for it. Gonna take damage though as he moves for it. Hooney goes crazy, he takes out Kiwi Kid, but he's gonna get locked back up. OQ though does not live the night. A double kill in there for the Aurelia. Four members dead for NRG already. And Centauron gonna get stunned up and killed, I think, as they'll be able to chase him down. Leap in there and that's the ace. Abs Relatively weak in the team fights right now because GBM doesn't have the ability to burst anyone out, and the Caitlyn's not super strong. But instead, they fight on top of turret, and Quas might get bursted. Yeah, that's big damage, actually. Quas forced to flash out of it. Rest of NRG here, but Immortals might have a seed of their own. This bottom tier, too, looking awfully low. And they'll just move in for it. Hooney going to start them out. Oki almost going down for it. Poivota moves in, gets the stun card back. But Hooney somehow living as GBM dives in there after the Zyra ulti. GBM has taken out Adrian, but they'll swap it over for their mid laner, and Immortals are not done just yet. Quas tagged by a spear now for Caitlyn, so team fight sort of there. JBM also maybe with a flank. Get silenced, very nice from Adrian. JBM even locked up. Might be forced to just bail out. The spear's gonna Whoa. miss. Hooney almost gets away with that one, and now Rainover just gonna flash forward and try and take out JBM. <gasps> Doesn't predict the Duke though. Twist of Fate still gonna chase, and JBM's absolutely dead. Stunned up and killed. Poe Belter claims him. See if they press themselves in here, Immortals aren't going to commit. They'll turn around for the team fight. Quas stunned up there in the front lines, but the silence isn't bad either. Zara Ulti, though, does zone them out of the way, and Quas is taking a beating here in the front side of the map. He will fall, though, as Hooney claims him. Now, Rainover on the chase, going to get his face headshot off. No, not yet. OQ oh, tagged man. there by Rainover. He's going to chase in. Damage is there. Pops the Zonius. Going to buy time for the rest of the side as Hooney's found Kiwi Kid for the kill. Santoran stunned up, but they're through the base gate and save. And Rainover has really been turning it on on Italy here. Notice how he's gone full. Same trick. They yeah, the blue ward. Well, blue ward is down. But they also have... They don't have Sivir ultimate yet, but they do have a Hooney. They're just fighting. Hooney goes straight in for GBM. Who does ultimate and get the kill. Oku takes him out. But the damage on the back end is great as Rainover takes out GBM. Now Quas tanking what he can. Immortal's going to try and kite back, but Santorin leaves forward, tries to take out Rainover, who's still living there through all the healing. Quas is going to go down in a two-for-one trade in favor of Immortals. Yeah, everything's falling apart here for energy. GBM... 
is the leader of that team. When he's having such a bad game, you can see the rest of it is just kind of oh, falling apart. Oh, OQ, that feels bad. Huni goes in for him. They will flash out of the way. But Immortals now with super minions in every single lane. Quas stunned up. They're not done. Centurion, the next target, as he ulties himself back to safety. But Quas going to get jumped on. Huni's going to take him out. The turrets are going to fall. And I think Immortals can push through for the win. Huni wants to pad those stats and try and take them out. OQ tacked on the other side as Rainover is going to try and solo him down. GBM dives in and ults himself. But Immortals going to work on that Nexus. And we are going to get game three, I think. <laughs> are they going to let Rainover there die first? Go. No, no, no. They're going to save him. <laughs>